everyone, it's Sarah and if you don't know, I contracted COVID-19 a couple weeks ago and I feel like I'm really coming out of it. It's been over two weeks since I tested positive, so I feel good. So I'm hoping that that means I am good. I'm going to get another test to see if I'm negative just in case, but there were definitely some things that helped me a lot to overcome some of the symptoms that I had. And I thought that I would share it because a lot of people have been telling me that my video previously talking about my symptoms have helped and uh, they're sort of experiencing the same symptoms and asking me what I did. So I thought that I would just share uh, five things that I feel like helped me feel better from um, my mild symptoms. And again, this is just for me. Um, based on my symptoms and everyone's different, but I hope that it helps someone. Okay, so one of my main symptoms was body aches, and I feel like that's a very common mild symptom. So one thing that I did every day when I could get out of bed, when I felt well enough to get out of bed, was stretch. Just gentle stretches, and I slowly increased them as I felt better. Like basically gentle yoga, just to stretch my back and stretch my legs and wherever I felt achy back stretches I feel like offered immediate relief but some of the other body aches like my legs and my arms and even sometimes my back that were just like sort of still there I think over time as I did it more and more even for just like three minutes in the morning if that's all that I could do I've taken yoga classes for the past uh, like five years so I know sort of the stretches that feel good for my body and work for my body, but you can always just find on like YouTube, there's like stretching, gentle stretching things, and I think that would really help. So the next thing is getting out of bed when I felt up to it, but still letting myself have those days when I didn't feel good enough to get out of bed. Rest, especially when it's fighting this like new virus. For me, I know that just laying in bed my mind starts going and that's bad for my mental health. I think that just listening to your body and if you can get up even to just walk around your room, just something, then I think that that helps. Moving just kind of helped me feel better. And I know that this of course is different for people who are much more severe for COVID, but as being mildly symptomatic or even asymptomatic, because it can change like instantly, like you're feeling great one day and then not so great the next day. Um, the days that you are feeling well enough, Based on your symptoms, I think it's helpful to just get up and move and sort of fight that urge to stay in bed just for, for me, it helped my mental health. Another thing is drinking a lot of water but not forcing myself to eat. And actually someone on YouTube actually suggested this, so thank you, and it really helped. Um, so most days it, I wasn't hungry and couldn't taste, so I wasn't really inclined to eat at all. But I made sure I always drank water, drank tea. Uh, my coffee always made me feel better. Tea especially I feel like helps and staying hydrated to give your body the nutrients that it needs to heal and build up those antibodies. So make sure you drink a lot of water like any time that you get sick. Another thing, and this is of course varies on the day, but if I couldn't leave my bed, then I try to be productive in bed. So I'm a grad student, so I either went on my laptop and I studied for my boards, I edited a video, or I'm trying to learn Photoshop just because it comes free with my university's username. So, so I think it's cool. And just like some, just something sort of take your mind off of the fact that you're sick. For me, it helps make each day feel more meaningful. I studied for 30 minutes, like that's better than nothing. So yeah, just staying productive when you can, I feel like really helps me. And then fifth, overall, just listen to your body, like I've been saying throughout this entire journey. I learned really during this time that your body knows what's best, and I learned how to listen to my body and just feel like get more in touch with it and feel what it needs and. I feel like that helped me feel better. I'm writing down my symptoms every day to get to know sort of my symptoms better, my body better, the way my body was fighting this virus better. Um, I feel like that really, really helps me get more in touch with my body and my symptoms and how I could try and like help other people that have it. And my ring light just went out, so I'm sorry for the change of lighting. And it also really helped me sort of hearing other people's stories and how they dealt with it, which is another reason why I'm doing um, these videos to like sort of share what helped for me and I hope that it would help for you. I really think that I'm 
on the mend and I think that I've overcome coronavirus. I'm not positive yet, but I definitely feel so much better. So yeah, I hope that this video helped in some way to those who may be asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic or wondering if they are. And if you have any other ideas of what to do, please like you could comment or text me or anything like that just because that really, really helped when um, I was talking to people who also had COVID and hearing what helped them really, really helped me, I feel like. So I hope that everyone is staying safe. If you have been diagnosed, I hope that you're okay. So stay safe. I'll see you in my next video.